is another delicious way to use your apples this fall. I love a good apple crumble, or you can also call it an apple crisp. Uh, here are the ingredients if you would like to do a screenshot of them, or maybe you would like to jot them down. Um, they'll also be below the video if you'd like to print them out. So we'll go ahead and get started here. We're going to make our topping. So let's combine our flour and our oats along with a little salt and our spices. I'm going to go ahead and put the dark brown sugar in here. I want to go ahead and get that mixed up pretty well into the rest of the mixture just to make sure all those little lumps are kind of broken up a bit. We want this to be coarse, but we want it to be a coarse mixture from the butter that we're going to add in just a bit and not from the brown sugar. So I went ahead and also added my other sugar and now we're going to chip in the cold butter and I'll use a little pastry cutter here just to kind of break it up and like I said we're just going for kind of a coarse crumb mixture okay you can also use two forks to break up your butter and I'll just go back through with my fingers here just to make sure that it's broken up nicely and then I want to go ahead and pop this in the refrigerator while I get the filling ready so in another bowl we'll go ahead and zest our orange um, the orange is an optional ingredient I do think it kind of gives a little something special to the filling so when you zest your orange just go from front to back turning it as you go and I'm using a fine grater okay and now I want to get a little bit of the juice of the orange. Of course, I estimated the measurements on both of these, uh, so you can do the same. And now we'll go ahead and add some vanilla, a little bit of salt, our sugar, and I'm also using another optional ingredient. This is uh, fresh grated ginger, and I need at least about a tablespoon of this so the flavor will come through. And I'll go ahead and add my melted butter along with some flour. And now I'll just go ahead and mix these together real well and then we can start to prepare our apples. You can use any variety of apples. I think a good assortment of apples is the best. So um, you'll need to go ahead and get about five uh, large apples uh, depending of course on the size of your skillet. And I showed you earlier in another video how I like to slice my apples. Uh, I do not recommend that you slice your apples this way unless you are very comfortable using a knife. So um, be careful there. Go ahead and use your cutting board if you need to. And of course you can always use the, leave the peeling on here too, okay? And we'll get our cast iron skillet. You may want to put it on a cookie sheet depending on how many apples you have. Try to fill up your uh, skillet completely with apples. I wish I'd had a couple more. And then we can just dump our crumb mixture right in the center. And then we'll just gently let it fall out to the sides, okay? So most of it's going to be concentrated there in the center. And now we can go ahead and put it in the oven. I had it preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So go ahead and give it a check here. And it's looking great. It's nice and brown on the top. And it's kind of crispy and hard in some spots and loose in others. That gives it the name crumble. So after about 10 minutes or 15 minutes of letting it cool, you can serve it. And it's nice and warm and screaming for some vanilla bean ice cream. I just love it with vanilla bean ice cream. My recipe does call for a lot of crumble because I do serve it with ice cream. And I like to have a little bit of the crumble when I eat the ice cream too, okay? It's great with mint. I happen to have some apple mint in my container garden. So I slivered some of that on there. And I do hope that you can give this a try. If you enjoyed the video, please head down there and give me a big thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Also, feel free to share it on your favorite social media. I am only on Google Plus and YouTube. So I'm not out there on all the other social media platforms. So whenever you guys are out there sharing my videos, it sure does help. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.